Hello everyone. We are going to talk about the new IP adapter model for stable diffusion called the IP Compositions Adapter. It has been created by the open source communities in Bano Doko. It's a really cool IP adapter that sets itself apart from the control net. In this case, they explain that control nets are more rigid when it comes to image pose and character positions. However, the IP Compositions Adapter offers more flexibility for different styles, transformations from one animal to another, or even gender transformations, like changing from a female to a male, etc. For example, there's this image of Batman transformed by a lady in a train station, and another one where a young Jedi holding a lightsaber is transformed using an image of a Mongolian girl. While it may seem similar to a control net, it's important to note that the same control net concept cannot be applied when using this adapter. They have a very detailed post discussing the IP Compositions Adapter in Stable Diffusion. They provide all the decoding details for those interested. You can check it out. One of the things that caught my interest and prompted me to dive into this was the ability to take a couple's photos and transform their poses into different outfits or costumes. On the IP Adapter GitHub page, you can download the Clip Visions, which are the ClipVit vision encoders specifically for the IP Compositions Adapter. Additionally, on the Hugging Face Files page, you can download the SD 1.5 versions and the SDXL versions. Both models are compatible with the Clip Visions encoder. Follow the instructions to use the vision encoder with the IP adapter models. In my workflow, which I created a few hours ago and have already tested, I use the SD 1.5 IP compositions adapter. I replicated the concept of using a couple's images and changed their outfits. I also made some customizations altering the characters' faces and outfits in the IP adapter groups for the IP compositions adapter, I used two girls in a coffee shop image as a reference. I had previously generated this image in other tutorials. Then using the IP adapter model and an empty latent image, I generated a similar pose for two women in a coffee shop. I also created segmentation prompts to identify the two characters in the image with prompts for the left girl and the right girl. I previewed the masked and segmented output characters in the other IP adapter. Lastly, in the IP adapter groups highlighted in red, I used a traditional IP adapter with the SD 1.5 model. I used the original IP adapter for the masks of the two characters, which were connected to the original IP adapter's custom nodes. I had the low clip vision source image to restyle the outfits, faces, and overall appearance of the characters. This follows a similar workflow concept as demonstrated in the hugging face examples. The result of this workflow is two characters with completely different styles appearing in the same image. Let's try it again with another newly generated image using this workflow. I have assigned seat numbers so that we don't generate the same image repeatedly. We can just work on a new generated image from the first group. In this case, I have the new generated image, which is very similar to the reference image. Using the IP Composition Adapter, it generates a new image with a similar concept of the reference image. Featuring two girls sitting in a coffee shop. We can also link the output image data to the segmentations group instead of using the load image. This time, I'm going to demonstrate how the data flows and pass the first image data to the VA encode for the second group. I will delete the load image in the segmentations group for better understanding. The segmentations image will now come from the first sampling image. After clicking generate again, we will see the result. 
As you can see, there are some differences after generating the image. Additionally, I can change the reference image in the second IP adapter group to another outfit. Let's try it with other seat numbers to generate different poses with the same structure as the reference image. Now, as you can see right here, we have two characters sitting in a coffee shop. I'm using a different reference image for the style IP adapter. This is the output of that process. So the golden dress comes from one of the reference images used in the IP adapter, and the doctor outfit is from the top regional IP adapter reference image. Let's try generating again. There are lots of things you can play around with. Feel free to try different seat numbers or sampling settings. You can adjust the denoise numbers, sampling steps, CFG numbers, or whatever you prefer. This is the SDXL demo. I'll choose the RealVis 2.0, which is compatible with SDXL. We need to change the dimensions, widths, and height to be suitable for SDXL. Here, we select the IP Plus Compositions SDXL models. Specifically designed for IP compositions with SDXL. Now let's double check everything before running it. If there are no issues, we can click run and try it. However, I will temporarily disable the restyling groups below for now. I just want to run it the first time to generate the image in the first sampling. Let it run. We only want the IP Compositions adapter to generate the first sampling image. And there you go. We have the generated image. The structure of the image follows our source image in the IP Compositions adapter. As you can see, two girls are sitting in a coffee shop, and the pose in the generated image is similar. However, one of them is holding a beer and appears to be dressed in a German style. Next, we can enable the groups below the segmentations group as well as the second IP adapter groups and the second sampling groups. Since we have fixed seat numbers, we can simply copy the first generated image and paste it into the load image for the segmentations group. Then we need to change the IP adapter in the second restyling IP adapter groups to use the IP adapter plus SDXL models. Clicking generate again will work on the segmentations group and the second IP adapter group. In the second sampling group, as you can see, we already have the output. Essentially, we can try different sampling methods, denoising numbers, sampling, CFG steps, and scheduler methods to experiment and see which image style we prefer. And that's basically it. Oh look, it's really funny because it generated flowers. When I set the denoising strength too high, the second character disappeared. So I had to lower it down again and try one more time. And there we go. We have the ladies in the golden dress and the flower dress restyled as the two characters in the final image generation. In this workflow, we generate from the segmentations and restyle it using the IP adapter. However, the most important part is the first group, the top one, where we use the IP plus compositions adapter. It references our source image and uses its structure to generate our first AI image for sampling. This is the most crucial aspect of using the IP Compositions Adapter, which can be further enhanced to restyle our characters, backgrounds, or anything else using the regular IP adapter. That wraps up this tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next videos. Have a nice day. Bye.